Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can sketch these exponential graphs knowing this base graph here f of x equals e to the power x just by using transformations of graphs. By using transformations of graphs it means that you do not need to make a table of values and it's a lot easier and a lot quicker. So let's get started with this first one. Now in this first graph you can see that I've got y equals e to the 2x and when I compare it to the base graph f of x equals e to the x you can see that x is being replaced with 2x. And in this second graph you see that I've got the x being replaced by half x or x over 2. Now when we've got graphs like this where we're replacing x with what we call ax you should know this transformation. f of ax represents a stretch with a scale factor of 1 over a parallel to the x-axis. So let's show you how this works in graph number 1, y equals e to the 2x. What we'll do is we'll put in some axes and draw in the graph of y equals e to the x. Now for the first one we're looking at f of 2x, a is 2. and This means this will be a stretch of scale factor 1 over 2 and half in other words parallel to the x-axis. and What that means is that this graph gets squashed closer to the y-axis. We take distances like this one here and we halve it. So we'd get a point somewhere around here. And if I took say this distance, halve that and I've got a point here. This point on the y-axis stays put. So my graph will come down like this at the moment. And when I look at this section of the graph, a point like this for instance, the distance is that, halve it, and you've got a point about here. So the graph is now going to come down through the 1 and something like that. I'll draw it in for you. OK, there it is. And we'll write that graph in as y equals e to the 2x. Now for the next graph, e to the half x, a is a half. And so this will be a stretch, scale factor 1 divided by a half. In other words, 2. A stretch, scale factor 2, parallel to the x-axis. And what does that mean? Well, if we take the graph of e to the x, the blue graph here, what it means is that if I'm looking at this point here, I look at this distance and I now double it. So it moves twice that amount to about there. And if I look at this point, this distance is doubled, takes me to about there. And when I get to this point, well it stays put on the y-axis. So I've got a graph coming down like this. And if I take another point on the blue graph, say this point here, that distance gets doubled and will move out to here and so on. So the graph's going to look like this. Well I can draw that on and there you have it. That is the graph of y equals e to the half x or x over 2. Now we'll move on to graphs 3 and 4. Now in these graphs y equals 2e to the x and y equals a half e to the x, you can see that I'm multiplying the function f of x, which equals e, e to the power of x, by a number. And in general, if that number is a, you should know this transformation, that a times f of x represents a stretch, scale factor a, parallel to the y-axis. So what does this mean in terms of these two graphs? Well, what we'll do is we'll draw the axes and we'll draw on y equals e to the x again in blue and if we look at the first graph a is 2 so it represents a stretch scale factor 2 parallel to the y-axis so that means that this point for instance 
is this distance up from the x-axis and so I would need to double it and that will take me up to about here. If I take another point, say this point here, it's this distance above the x-axis and if I double that I'll be about here. And if I took the point 1 here on the y-axis and doubled that, that would be 2. And so I've got a graph coming down like this through the two and what happens on this side? Well these points on here, their height gets doubled so a point like this goes to about there and a point like this is just about there. So my graph's going to go shooting up like this. I'll sketch it on for you. There it is. So this is the graph then of y equals 2e to the x. I've stretched the graph of e to the x by a factor of 2. I'd also need to write on where it crosses the y-axis and it crosses the y-axis at the point where x is 0. So when I put x is 0 into here e to the 0 is 1 and 2 times 1 is 2. I could have also got that point quite easily knowing that e to the x crosses at 1 and I've doubled it. Okay, So instead of going 1 up I now stretch that to 2. Alright, let's have a look now at this graph over here, y equals a half e to the x. And in this one, a is a half. And what that's going to mean then is that this is a stretch, scale factor of a half, parallel to the y-axis. So I take this graph and I've now got to halve all the heights of any point on the blue graph. So taking this point for instance, if I halve that height it's going to be about there. If I take this point and halve that height it's about there. And so on. Halve this height and it's about there. Halve say this height and it's in between. So you've got a graph coming through something like this for y equals a half e to the x. I'll draw that on for you. There it is. So I'll mark that in as y equals a half e to the x. And to find out where it crosses the y-axis, all I've got to do is just halve that height there of one unit, which is going to be a half. Or I could put x is naught into here. e to the power naught is 1, and a half of 1 is a half. So that point there where it crosses the y-axis, I'll just draw a little arrow out there because there's not much room to do it. We'll just say is 1 half. OK, so hopefully you've been able to see then how I can sketch graphs like this without drawing up a table of values just by transforming this graph f of x equals e to the x by using stretches. OK, so that's the end now of this tutorial.